So this right here is what we call a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, also known as a TAVR procedure. In this procedure, they bring a giant guide wire and they deploy the valve, pushing away the natural valve you have. Here's another view from the inside where the wire goes into your aorta, into your aortic valve, and then deploys opening up that calcified valve. This is done for individuals who have aortic valve disease or aortic valve calcification. That means is your heart has a little hole at the top and through that hole is where all the blood flows out. That hole naturally has a blocker, which is a valve that keeps the blood from coming back in after you push it out. So what that means is when the valve is calcified, you can't push out the same amount of blood at the same force to get to the rest of your body. Typically people who have aortic valve calcification or aortic valve disease, they end up getting winded very easily because the same amount of blood is not making it to their whole body. And blood carries oxygen and oxygen is necessary for energy. So therefore, if you can't get the right amount of blood around to your body, you need to have an aortic valve surgery or an aortic valve replacement. Now more commonly, they're using this transcatheter approach because it goes through your groin to your heart. It doesn't last as long, um, it won't stay in your body as long, but it is a little bit simpler procedure. So once the valve is replaced, the amount of blood flowing through your whole body increases, meaning the oxygen delivery to your muscles, to your lungs, to your legs, to your brain increases, so you sleep better, you have better energy, and you're back to almost normal. It's a drastic improvement from where you were if you had aortic valve disease. This is a little bit more of a hyper-specialized type of procedure. It doesn't happen as commonly as other heart procedures like a heart cath or a heart attack. However, it is life-changing, it is life-saving. And with the advent of technology, robotic surgery, and transcatheter replacement, they're, they're the future. If you like this content, please share for more.